in this video we will create a docker container for a Kotlin app and we will push that container to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First I will remove here the test uh, folder and uh, in the resources I will add the server port to AD. So I want uh, the, all the uh, containers that uh, I deploy to run on port 80 because uh, I'm reusing content, but you can, uh, you may change it to the port that you want, doesn't matter. So uh, I added the port 80 and also I will add a controller here. So I'll add the directory controllers and I will create a new uh, Kotlin uh, file so uh, home controller so this will be a class home controller and uh, it will have a function home so let's add also uh, here this should be a rest controller Actually, I will paste everything so I don't want to import it again. So this is our home controller. It will be a REST controller. It will have only one method that will return hello world. So that's it. So this it is this simple. And now uh, we want to uh, create a Docker container with this simple app. So let's create a Docker file. So first make sure to have installed Docker in your machine and here I will add from uh, we need uh, the environment will be a Gradle and uh, the version will be 7 and uh, the JDK will be 8. So this is a version that uh, of the Gradle and JDK that I want to start. I'll name this as build so this will be a multi-stage docker build i will explain that later uh, why i name it like that but let's focus first on this part let's specify a working directory i'll call it app so you can put uh, whatever uh, name you want here so all the files will be created inside this folder now so let's copy everything there so we this first dot is all these files and the, the second one is this working directory. Once uh, we added everything there, we need to run the command dot slash gradle w. We will execute this uh, file build with the stack trace. So uh, this uh, will generate a build folder here. Let us see it. So if I run gradle w build here, this will generate a build uh, folder. So as you can see, we have a build folder now. So uh, what we want here is uh, to go to the libs and this is uh, our jar that we want to execute. Uh, actually, I'll remove this snapshot. To remove that snapshot, we need to go to gradle build at gradle that kotlin to remove this so this uh, will create a shorter name without the snapshot so we don't need uh, now any of these files except for these uh, jar files so that's why we created a, mul a multi-stage build because now we can create another container from openjdg and uh, this will be a smaller one. We'll specify the same working directory, but these are different containers. So don't worry if they have the same name. We'll expose the port 80 because uh, we set it uh, to our uh, source folder. And uh, then we'll copy from the builder, we'll copy uh, this uh, path so up 
build libs and then we need the name of uh, the file so I will uh, copy this but uh, we don't need the snapshot so we remove the snapshot so it will be like this that jar so this will be the name of the build and we'll copy it to this working directory and this uh, container only has this jar and we will just execute it so command uh, java jar and i will copy this uh, name and that's it so this is the container let's let's uh, run it and test it so first we have to build it so docker build we need to specify the name for this uh, docker build and we can do that by adding minus t the name of the container will be up so we added this and then we need to add dot which means uh, that uh, it will be in this context and it will, it will execute this docker file let's run it so i made a mistake this is build i forgot uh, a nail here so now everything is running let's wait till this is completed so it is completed now this container is ready to be published to the cloud but before let's test it to our browser to test it to our browser we need to run the container so docker run we need to specify the port so uh, minus p not t and uh, the port uh, inside the docker container is 80 but in our local host we can put whatever we want i will put 8888 and the name of the container was up if we run it like this it will execute it so it's running fine now let's test it on the browser localhost port 8888 we can see hello world here which means our app is running fine now let's uh, deploy this app to the cloud and i will close this uh, id because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged into my azure portal here and uh, before i create anything make sure to have uh, installed the azure cli so download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions you will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we'll create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, i will create a container registry here the resource group I, I have a demo, demo resource group here which I added just the name the registry name I'll call it up so it needs uh, to have uh, five characters so I'll call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app i will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this sku i will select the ba basic version let's create it and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, 
Azure uh, Azure Container Registry login, and here we need the name which was which was app. So let's copy it also. So go to the resource and let's copy the URL, which is uh, this one. So. Uh, we don't need the suffix. So let's log in. So this will allow us to push the Docker container to Azure. So we successfully logged in. And uh, now that we logged in, we can uh, push our image. To push our image, first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag the name of our container is up and uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash up so this is uh, our uh, repository here so I added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it so let's push it and now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry. So let's wait till it's completed. So it is completed. Now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories. This is our app repository and uh, here we have our image. So this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name. So I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now. So let's create a container instance. I'll select the same resource group. Uh, we need the container name. The container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure Container Registry and we have our uh, container app so uh, we need to enable uh, admin here so let's click learn more and we have to run this command so uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here so we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly not sure if we need the uh, my container up. So I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. I will select up here registry and now it is selected so uh, everything is correct I'll change the size here I will keep everything minimal so 0.5 is a uh, minimal uh, memory so I'll select this review and create uh, also I think uh, I forgot something so uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80 so by default is automatically mapped so we don't have anything to change but if your container port is different we need to select here the uh, the other port so 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else let's create it So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource and uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address and if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.